Section 5. Building the Dashboard Summary Page Crosstab and Summary Widget In this video, we will create the summary page of the dashboard and learn about crosstab and summary widgets. So our data module is now ready. So we will make sure that it is saved properly by clicking on the Save button and then we will close it from here. We are going to create a new dashboard where we will be using this data module to pull the cost and performance data. Before we do that, let's click on this My Contents area and go to My Content. Here we notice that the file which we uploaded in the previous section has been saved outside. So we can move it through Section 4 Achievements by clicking on this Context button. Choose the option to Move and then select this folder Section 4 Achievements and hit Move to button. And I want you to create a new folder now. Section 5 Achievements. Now, let's click on the plus icon at the bottom left corner and choose the Dashboard option to create a new dashboard from scratch. I would like you to choose this template which has got a bigger section and then some smaller sections on the top and on the left hand side. Click on OK. The first thing we will have to do is select a source for data. So we'll go to My Contents, Section for Achievements folder and choose the Branch Costs and Performance module which we just saved. Click on Add and now we can see all of those tables and data items which we created in the previous section. I would like you to create a cross tab or a grid here which will show the region level cost and performance data. So open the branch hierarchy and drag regions. As soon as you drag a data item on the canvas, Cognos tries to pick a visualization which is suitable for that data item. But we can always change it by selecting this option called Change Visualization. So click on that and open all visualizations and choose Crosstab. Crosstab is a grid-like visualization. We can put one or more data items or dimensions on the rows and on the columns and we can show the numbers in the intersection. In order to place data items on the rows or columns, you need to click on this icon on the top right corner to expand the visualization panel. So here we see that region has been placed on the rows. On the columns, we are first going to put some cost data. So we expand the cost data. So if you drag infrastructure cost and put it in values, you will now see that infrastructure costs are being shown. And on the rows, there are three regions. So all the rows for England are summed together to present this infrastructure cost of 643,000. We can add other costs as well, like employee cost, and technology cost in the values section. So basically Crosstab allows as many numerical values or metrics that we would like to display. So can you guess which month or year's data these are? Well, currently we don't have any filter for any month or year. That means it is summing up all the values from the file. And the file has got values for 2019 months and 2020 months. In order to restrict the data to a particular year or group the data by years, we need to drag the year data item. Now when we expand the month table, we notice that year is shown as a metric rather than an identifier. So we need to make correction to our data module. We can easily do that by opening our data module. So we go back to My Contents, Section for Achievements, and open the data module. Expand Months, click on Year, open its properties, 
and change its usage from measure to identifier and set it members to automatic. Let's save the data module by clicking on the save button. Let's go back to our dashboard and we minimize this cross tab. In order for the changes to reflect, we need to relink this dashboard to our data module. But before doing that, let's save it in our new folder called Section 5 Achievements and we will name it as Branch Performance Dashboard. To relink, we need to go back up and then choose this option to relink the data module. Choose the data module which is essentially the same data module from Section 4 Achievements and click on Use. So Cognos has now refreshed the definition for data module and we can see that year is now being shown here as an identifier. Let's try to expand this cross tab and choose year to be on the columns. We can see that 2019 now appears here and if we scroll to right, we see 2020 as well. So we are happy with the cross tab. We can minimize it and let's move it to the middle of this section so that it will expand to fit the whole section. Let's see it in full screen mode. And here we can see the 2019 and 2020 annual costs and the summary represents the submission of both. Press escape to come out of the full screen mode. Now on this cross tab, I don't want to show the summaries. So click on the cross tab and click on the plus icon on top. And that gives us some options that we can use for this cross tab. There is this option to hide summaries. So click on that and we can see that the summaries are now hidden. We can also add a title to this cross tab by clicking on this edit the title option and we can call it annual costs by regions. Now typically cross tabs provide a lot of numbers. So the key information we would like to place on the top and on the left hand side. So we will expand the data items and open CA performance data and we are going to drag invested assets, fees and commissions on the top as individual singletons or summary widgets. I want you to drag the invested assets measure on the top in one of the section and drop it in the middle. So we can see that Cognos has this time chosen a different visualization. Because it's a numerical data, Cognos has chosen something called summary widget. Summary widgets are great for highlighting the key performance indicators. If you expand this widget, you can see that it's a summary widget and essentially it only accepts one numerical measure. We will repeat this process for fees and commission. As we are not limiting our dashboard currently by any filter, all of these numbers are the totals from the CA performance data. Now I would like to limit this page only to 2019 data. For that, let's open months. Let's drag year to the filter section for this tab. When we drag it, we get the option to either choose 2019 or 20 or both. In this case, we are going to choose 2019 because it's a year which is complete Notice that as soon as we put a filter, all of these visualizations show an icon on the top right corner. And when you click on that icon, you can see that the widget is filtered for year 2019. Now on the left hand side, I want to show two other key performance indicator. The first one is going to be total earnings. For that, I'm going to add up fees and commissions 
and the second one is going to be total cost. And for that, I'm going to add up infrastructure, employee and technology costs. So let's learn about creating some calculations in the dashboard tool. In our previous section, we learned that we can create certain calculations in data module. However, if a data module is already created or owned by someone else, we can still create calculations specific to this dashboard in the dashboard tool. So if we expand branch cost data and then click on this context icon and choose new calculation, we can drag infrastructure cost plus employee cost plus technology cost here and call it total costs and click on OK. So a new calculation has been created which is not in the data module but it is available in this dashboard which we can use on this tab as well as on any other tab that we will create within this dashboard. So let's drag the total cost calculation and place it on the left hand side and we will create total earnings by adding up fees and commission. So we repeat the process for CA performance data table, click on calculation and add up fees and commissions and call it total earnings and drag it on the canvas on the left hand side. We can see that both of these widgets are showing the filter and when we click on them, we can see that they are already filtered for the year 2019. Let's save this dashboard and we change the mode to presentation mode by turning off the edit option. So whenever any user is going to access this dashboard, this is how it will look. Let's open in full screen. In one glance, they will be able to see the 2019 invested assets, fees and commission. They will also be able to compare the total earnings and total costs and they can see the cost split by regions. If the user wanted to change this view from 2019 to 2020, they can easily do that by clicking on this year option and then change it to 2020, turn off 2019 and click on OK. And all of the figures are now changed to 2020. If you are presenting this dashboard, you can also hide the filter section by clicking on the small tick. And here we see a small number one because it indicates that there is one filter being applied to this tab. Let's click on escape to minimize and go back to the edit mode by clicking on the pencil button. The cross tab is not filling up the whole space available to it. So we will select this widget, open the properties pane, expand the chart options and here we can increase the row height and the column width. That looks better. So we are going to save this dashboard 